Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. Today, we will discuss the software setup of a thermal conductivity test via xenon and laser flash instruments. At times, sample materials of higher thermal conductivity values need to be measured indirectly. This may be due to sizing restraints or the need for non-contact measurement. For these applications, we can employ the use of a xenon or laser flash instrument. The FlashLine software opens up to a blank canvas. We begin by opening the operation menu to startup information. The software will verify the furnace that you are going to use, as well as the files that apply to the instrument. After the initial installation, you can click through the using of the controller parameter files. For the purpose of the auto sampler's configuration, you will have to choose the appropriate size of sample you are using, either a 12.7 millimeter or 25.4 millimeter sample. The sample holders for each are configured differently and the instrument needs to be aware of which one is in use. After this, you choose the appropriate gas that the test will be run in the most common choice being nitrogen. After clicking OK, we see our test information window. Here, we fill in the test details, including the title and identifiers that will make the testing unique in name, as well as the user information. Next, we fill in the IDs of the samples and their thicknesses that will be used to calculate the desired thermal properties. Below this window, we describe our temperature profile, the limits of which will be dependent upon the instrument in use. These segments will be user dependent in terms of the ramp rate, as well as how many points will be used to calculate the thermal diffusivity and the appropriate power levels. The instrument is designed to output thermal diffusivity, but because we also want the thermal conductivity values, we must check the box at the bottom of the test information window for specific heat and conductivity. The ensuing pop-up window will first have you choose the specific heat file of the reference that will be in position one of the instrument. Then we choose the appropriate density file of that same reference. Next, we select the density file or files of the unknown samples that would be in the remaining sample positions. We can now see that the specific heat slash conductivity box is checked and the instrument will know to produce values for both. From here, we're ready to start our test. In this tech tip, we discussed software setup for thermal conductivity measurement. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips and thank you for your interest.